Jeremy Clarkson revealed he was forced to call the police to step in and help with crowd management at his diddly squat farm shop. The Top Gear presenter shared on Twitter how the car park at the premises had become packed today and warned shoppers not to park on the main road. Jeremy typed, It's really busy at the farm shop today and I'm sorry we can't provide proper car parking. Until we can, the local police, who are very great and much on our side BTW, do ask that people don't park on the main road, he added. At Tima82 replied, in the queue now Jezza, shows fucking awesome BTW. Jeremy responded, I'm sorry it's so long. I'd come over if I wasn't feeding the pigs. And if I didn't have such a massive hangover. While another follower asked, does the farm shop have a website to order merchandise? I really want one of the hats. He replied, we do. Hats t-shirts. All sorts. However other fans questioned how they would get to visit the farm shop if there was no parking. In response, Jeremy said, we are opening fields as fast as we can. While at Nicholas Heimbaugh expressed his outrage over Jeremy's restaurant being closed. He typed, I am still in shock that they shut the restaurant down, and at the council's private war against Clarkson's farm. I feel bad for the local farmers that are struggling there. Sadly, I know of several instances of similar local gov shenanigans here in USA. Good luck. Jeremy responded, we keep hearing the same thing from farmers across Canada and the US. It seems you guys have the exact same problems as us. Don't miss, another fan shared that they would like to visit but were concerned about access due to not being able to walk far. At Moffat underscore Margaret shared, I do want to visit but worry about where to park and the queue, as I cannot walk far or stand for a long time x love the second season of Clarkson's farm, cannot believe the hopes you have to jump just to make a success of your farm, good luck x. Jeremy answered, we'd love to see you. If you can, visit us on a term time weekday. It's usually more quiet then. In a similar vein, Atto Wolf asked, what about disabled visitors? We try our best, replied Jeremy. It comes as Jeremy lodged two appeals against West Oxfordshire District Council over his diddly squat farm eatery. The 62-year-old broadcaster is challenging both the council's refusal of planning permission to extend the farm shop car park and the enforcement notice it issued for opening a restaurant without planning. Jeremy said in January that he no longer wished to open a restaurant, but the hearing for both appeals is still due to be conducted by the planning inspector in March. Regarding the enforcement notice, a West Oxfordshire District Council spokesperson said, on August 12, 2022 West Oxfordshire District Council served an enforcement notice on the owners of Diddley Squat Farm in respect of planning breaches on the site. Melting